Allow me to reintroduce myself, my name is Ho, oh, H to the O-V I used to move snowflakes by the Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone Welcome back I am in Colorado I was gonna go to New Mexico, drive all the way up to New Mexico But um, the weather was nice here last night It was kind of windy And so I decided to stop here And I just woke up once I get done with this, there's the truck stop over there. I'm gonna go fresh up and then get back on the road. That's the road that I'm gonna take. It's gonna go all the way down to New Mexico on I-40. Then once I get on I-40, it's gonna take me all the way straight to New Mexico. So I just got done with my pre-trip and now I'm ready to get back on the road. So I might not stop in New Mexico. I just I might just keep on going uh, straight to Houston. I have about, I believe, 13 hours or 14 hours left uh, of drive to Houston. So I'm gonna see um, if I'm gonna stop somewhere. If I do, I'll let you guys know. If not, then I'm gonna be going straight all the way to Houston. So I'll give you guys the update. I'm gonna get back on the road now. I just searched it and it says that uh, it's an ABS so I'm gonna open the hood and uh, I'll show you guys where the wire is I think one of the bracket broke or something which is why this light came on so I'm gonna open the hood and see what's going on with it it's a simple fix if um, the code is let me show you guys the code too I searched it up so electrical system problem detected okay yeah so that's what what it is go back it's abs um just like i told you guys so 929 that's the code uh, so it's for the abs i'll show you guys where the where the wire wire is for that i'm gonna see if it, i think like i said i think the uh, probably the bracket of the ABS broke which is why this came on so I'm gonna pop the hood see what's going on I've detected the problem that's the thing that's the clip that's missing on the other side so it's this wire right here this uh, small wire that's going so it's loose on the other side which is why the engine light i'm not exactly sure if that's the reason why the engine light came on or if it's something else but you see this wire right here and just like i showed you guys on the other side it had a clip on it so this side is missing the clip i believe this is the problem i'm not 100 percent sure but if the engine light still stays on then I'm gonna have to get a check from a mechanic. But from my research, this is what people have been saying on Google. I did a uh, I did a research on Google, and this is what they're telling me on the uh, forums on Freightliner. So I'm gonna zip tie this. See if the engine light goes away. If not, then probably tomorrow uh, I'm gonna get it checked out from a mechanic to see what's going on because it is an electric issue I don't see anything else loose here other than that right there so I'm just gonna zip tie it just like the other side to, um, to see if it if it goes away if not then like I said I'll get it checked out from a mechanic so I'm gonna do that to represent me. Hey, guys, so I put on the zip ties. Um, let's see if the problem goes away. 
If not, then I'm not sure what it could be. Uh, well, what I'm assuming, if the light doesn't go away, the engine light doesn't go away, then it could be the sensor that's bad, and then the mechanic will have to replace the whole sensor. I don't know where the sensor is exactly, but uh, I've never done, I've never worked on these brakes before, so I don't know much about it. I mean, whatever I knew, whatever I did the research, um, this is what they told me to make sure the wire is not loose which it was so I zip tied it let's see if the if it fixed the problem if not then like I said it could be the sensor now I don't know where exactly the sensor is so if the light doesn't go away I'm gonna have to get it checked out from the shop uh, just to make sure it's not it's nothing major um, if it's not something major I'll just keep on driving like this until I get back in my town and I'll give it to my personal mechanic and I'll have him fix it but anyways um, the, that wire was loose I already zip tied it it's all nice and tight so I'm gonna fill up the coolant too it went down again like I said the EGR is bad so I have to get that fixed too once I get back in town so this is it's normal stuff I mean these type of things happen so good thing is it's not giving me any major problem alhamdulillah so I'm happy so I'm gonna fill that up and get back on the road about like i believe five or six hours away from houston where i'm delivering this load at so once i get there i will drop off this load try to see if they take this load today if they do then uh well it's supposed to be delivering monday but tomorrow is sunday so i'll try to deliver it tomorrow see if they take it if not then i'm gonna have to deliver it on monday and uh, at that time i'll get the truck checked out too from the mechanic shop just to make sure everything is good before i take it for a long route again so yeah okay, so after zip tying the line the engine light is still on so i guess i'm gonna have to get it checked out from the mechanic and see what he says or maybe it needs to be reset with the computer or something I don't know or it could be the sensor bad or something like that not sure what exactly is going on with it so I want to get it checked out uh, tomorrow from mechanic in Houston um, like I said five hours of drive to Houston I'm gonna get there tonight try to get this load off of me and look for a mechanic to get this problem fixed, so. Presented by MK Studio.